Hi, I'm Will Sager. I'm a professor at the University of Houston, and I'm going to lead an expedition to explore Tamu Massif, the world's largest single volcano. How big is it? How did it get there? Why did we just find out about it recently? Um, and why are we going back? Well, to give you an idea, it's about the size of the state of New Mexico, or if you're not from the U.S., about the size of the British Isles. It's as big as the biggest volcano that we know of in the solar system, which is Olympus Mons on Mars. Well, that's a really good question because scientists would like to know that. How does this massive volcano form? One idea is that a huge blob of hot material came up from deep within the Earth, and when it got to the surface, it caused massive eruptions. That's called the plume head hypothesis. Well, because it found a really good place to hide. It's under the ocean, and you can't see it except by using sonars, and so, it's only been seen by ships passing by, and ships don't go to that place very often, so it's just not very well known, and it took special equipment to look on the inside and see what it was made of. It's been known for a long time that there was a mountain range out there, and I started going there about 20 years ago and collecting remote sensing data from a ship and about six years ago, we went out with the Integrated Ocean Drilling Program drill ship, and we drilled core samples. And what we found was huge, massive lava flows. It looked like they came out uh, gangbusters, uh, lava flow just pouring out. And later on, we went with what's called a seismic ship, and we shot sound deep within the volcano to see the layering. And what we found was that the layers come out of the center and go down the flank. So these lava flows start from the center of the volcano. So then we knew it was the world's single largest volcano. Uh, it's very unlikely because it formed 145 million years ago when the dinosaurs were roaming the Earth. And since that time, the motion of the tectonic plates have carried a long way from its source. Because we really don't know how it formed. We have barely begun to map this uh, massive volcano, and we need more data. We're going to collect depth data that shows us a better, gives us a better picture, mapping the shape of the volcano. And we're going to collect magnetic data that will show us where the magnetic eruptions occurred and where they occurred to help us understand how this big volcano formed. So the magnetic anomalies show us two things. Some places there are magnetic stripes where, they're, where the magnetic field is higher or lower, and those only form at mid-ocean ridges where the lava flows don't go very far. So that's uh, the mild-mannered Dr. Jekyll. But we think the Tamu Massif formed by these massive eruptions that went uh, hundreds of miles, and so that, that's the effusive uh, Mr. Hyde. So it has this Jekyll and Hyde personality. We're trying to figure out how those can be simultaneous on the same volcano. Well, we'll be on a ship that has really good internet capabilities. So you can log onto the internet and join us live as we do this exploration. 